Hi guys, welcome back. If this is your first time watching, hello, my name is Jess. I'm so excited because we're gonna break into the dance industry today with my good friend and brother in Christ from the LA-based dance company, Kinja's, Ben Chung. Hi, Ben. Hi, Jess. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. So how did you get into the dance industry? Well, I started dancing in high school just for fun, just like anybody else just does stuff for fun. Uh, kept dancing throughout college, um, did the whole competitive dance circuit, and then uh, didn't realize that there was even a career to be pursued in dance. But after I graduated, I saw that there was a lot more opportunity um, than I had even known. and so. Uh, kind of went through the whole process of getting an agent and doing like the auditions mm -hmm. and then I started teaching classes in North Hollywood. In 2007, I joined a crew called Jabberwockies and... Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I get real excited <laughs> My brother and I, you can't see him, but he's behind the camera. He used to nerd out on Jabberwockies hardcore in high school. Like, my mom would excuse us from doing homework so that we could watch. Um, yeah, so 2007, Jabberwockies, and then in 2008, we auditioned for America's Best Dance Crew. We did season one. We had no idea that was gonna be like the launching point for um, us as a group mm -hmm. and our careers. We landed a show in Las Vegas, um, wow. which was crazy, yeah, it was mm -hmm. amazing. Uh, 2013 was where I felt like the Lord was kind of stirring some stuff in my heart to come back to LA. How did you know that was his calling for you to serve and the gift that he's given you to use for his kingdom? You know, I guess as a new believer, you don't really, um, I guess, know how to uh, make sense of gifts that God has given you and using it for His glory. Like, I yeah. just like, oh, I, I dance, and I also, like, I believe in Jesus. <laughs> I don't really know how those two, like... Come together. Exactly. So I just kind of kept going, and then sometime within, uh, during ABDC time, mm -hmm. and then going all the way to like Las Vegas in 2010. Seeing the opportunities and like, I guess the platform that we were given. I would always profess to be Christian, you know, and uh, whenever people would ask me or when I'd be interviewed, I'd, mm -hmm. yeah, like, you know, I praise Jesus and this and that. People mm -hmm. would comment on those things. And, and I was like, huh, this is interesting. Like, I'm not like trying to, you know, like be this or whatever. I'm like, yeah. oh, that's just who I am. Yeah. But I realized, oh, okay, well, I guess I have like a voice now that people for some reason would listen to a little bit more than right. had I not been a Jabberwocky, I don't know. How do you stay rooted in not taking that glory that people are giving you for yourself? I would be lying if I didn't say that I was tempted to, you know, become boastful. Yeah, you know, like, <laughs> so I've, amazing, I guess. That's why I'm like... I've been there, like, you know, <laughs> I think everybody has, you know, to a, a certain degree. Praise God that he humbles his children, <laughs> you know, and, 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 and we pray that he does it gently. But sometimes, yeah. you know, we, we tend to fall. We Maybe we have to fall on our face. Um, well, at the, at the end of the day, it's such a facade. It's, a, it's such an illusion. Yes. You, um, you're praised for the last thing that you did, literally a few weeks after you did that, if you don't do anything else, you're forgotten. On a very surface level, like, yeah, that whole thing is such a fake kind of illusion. Yeah, um, but, imitation um, of what glory really is. Absolutely, absolutely. I think there's something very interesting about art and why people gravitate towards artists, you know, like, and tend to even praise artists, right? Yes. And Ooh. it's because it's something that brings out this emotion. People want to praise it. But if you think about it, man, God is the ultimate, ultimate artist, artist. Right? That so, created us so that we can create. Exactly. Yeah. So I think when I see people's tendency to want to praise um, art, it's like, man, let's praise the ultimate artist. I know music, it, it can be so influential, and oftentimes, even you know, before I go to bed, if I listen to a hardcore rap song, I can't stop thinking about it, and I actually have to listen to something else, or read scripture, or something to get the audio out of my mind. Mm. So um, when you're you know, dancing and in that, how do you stay rooted and identifying in Christ it's so that you have that peace to guard your heart you know when you're dancing music i don't necessarily identify with what i listen to like whether it's like rap music even if it has like curse words in it yeah. um, i don't find myself walking away like 
you know, rehearse or reciting these words, like, I want these words get out of my head. Like, I don't yeah. have that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I can enjoy the, the aesthetic of the music, just the sound, uh, mm -hmm. how it makes me feel, I, I dance to it, and then I leave that there. Like, mm -hmm. I can kind of separate, separate myself mm -hmm. from it. Um, but, you know, to each their own. I think some people um, struggle with different things. So, you know, right. some, some people a little bit more uh, sensitive to that mm -hmm. kind of stuff. Yeah. Doesn't identify you though, not at all. Right. What can you share or encourage people who are coming into this industry who have no idea what they're headed towards and what kind of you know lies that the enemy is going to try and try and feed them with our culture and the norm and the pace of things happening in LA very fast. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that's a real thing. I I would say, <laughs> um, man, stay plugged into a solid Bible teaching church. That's mm -hmm. like where you start, get into community there. Yeah. You know, get brothers and sisters like really into your life that people who are down to like call you, text you, hang out with you, keep yeah. you accountable, ask you how your week was, ask you, are you still struggling with that sin? Like those types of brothers right. and sisters because that stuff is real. Yeah. So I've definitely found a lot of strength in um, transparency. You know, I think uh, in a place like LA, it's so easy and tempting to seem like you got it all together all the time. And right. it's like, I'm not struggling, I'm good. You know, we're, we're so used to being like, how are you? I'm good. That's like the reflex mm -hmm. action response. Mm -hmm. um, but be open to let people actually know how you're doing. If you're yeah. doing good, then great, praise God. But if not, like, let <laughs> people know, because that's the first step to like, really getting out of a rut that you may be in. And like, yeah, seek the Lord, man. Like. Just being in the word daily, being in prayer daily, and it's hard. It's like it, it requires discipline, and um, you can pray anywhere, which is awesome. Yep. I pray in the car all the time. the time. Like like a lot of times, I don't even listen to the radio because that's my yeah. time. Where I'm like, I got 20 minutes to pray, so right. I'm gonna talk to you, God. You and I'll know? be talking out loud. Oh, my windows all, are down. Dude. Everyone's looking at me. I'm like, God, I just also pray for <laughs> turning on the You know what's cool <laughs> is that like there's like Bluetooth on the phone, so people are like, oh maybe he's on the phone. No, I'm on the phone. On the phone. Nope. So, well, I'm on Talking to God, it's yeah. called God. Is there a time that you could think of where you were on stage or at a performance and it was the most embarrassing thing that happened and you could have easily been like, you know, just, oh, Ben, you suck, I can't believe you did. But instead, you said, no, I'm, I'm not gonna believe the lie, I'm still fulfilled in Christ and accidents happen and I'm gonna let it go and it's okay. We had a show in Las Vegas, um, uh, Jabberwockies. Mm -hmm. So when you're like, you know, months and months and months into performing the same show, it's like, yeah. you know, I, I don't even need to like pay attention. Like, you're like, oh shoot, in the conversation, I'll be right back, do the yeah, thing, yeah. come right back and get right back yeah. into this conversation. Mm -hmm. That's kind of how second nature it was. Mm -hmm. So when we first got this ping pong table, like everybody was just about <laughs> ping pong to the point where I was like, yo, we got a show, but like, I'm gonna get good at ping pong. <laughs> so all of us are so competitive in ping pong. And while we would be playing during the show, like in between acts, so I'm like, I'm already dressed, ready for the second act, and I'm like, yo, let's go. So I'm like, in this game, right? And then the we're music, it. the mu yeah, we're in it. And then music's playing, and then like, um, the guy that I was playing was like, hey, don't you need to be on stage? I'm like, oh crap. So I grabbed all my stuff, or what I thought was all my stuff, went on stage, you know, like got onto the riser, you know, put my hat on, put the mask on, glove on, and I'm like, oh shoot, where's my other glove? And I'm like, what, I'm gloveless. I have one glove. And here's the thing with Jaguars, you have to like be fully covered. Like, right, you know, right, hands sync. can't be like skin showing and then it makes you human. So we're like, what do I do? And then the curtain starts going up and then my hands are behind my back. This whole time I'm sweating and thinking like, what do I do with my other hand? And so all I can think to do was tuck my hand into my sleeve Sleep. like this. And then, I had this hand, you know, glove, and this proud. one was just uh, handless. <laughs> and I'm performing, I'm like, I don't know what this is looking like right now. And um, I'm like, maybe no one notices. Like maybe no, I'm not, and I'm, this is like a good 20 minutes that I'm on stage, maybe no one notices. And then oh I see God. a kid in the audience points at me and laughs at my hand, and I'm like, oh no! <laughs> he saw me! I, I'll be honest, I don't even know if I felt fulfilled in Christ at that moment. I just felt <laughs> embarrassed and stupid, but. I am fulfilled in Christ, and it's all good. It's all good. I'm still dancing. Okay. <laughs> so in 2014, you said that you left uh, the Las Vegas show with the Jabberwockies and rededicated your life to the Lord. And now being a principal role of the Kinjas, how would you say you know your newfound faith has affected your work and you know the mission of the Kinjas and what you guys do on a daily basis of what you perform for, who you perform in front of, all of that? You know, I just pray for 
opportunity um, within the group as well as us as a group to mm -hmm. be able to um, do things that can glorify the Lord. Um, but for myself, I'm just uh, a son of God living life wherever I'm at. And whether mm -hmm. that's at work, um, you know, whether it's on stage performing, whether it's uh, in the office, whether it's around uh, the Kinjas or whether it's around anyone else, I feel like I just need to be who I am in the Lord. The thing about Kinjas that I love is the brotherhood aspect and, and so down for each other on like the most yeah. human life level. Like we put things on pause when things just need to be on pause. Like, dude, forget Someone's... work today. Let's go help this situation out. Let's go talk mm. about this. I definitely see how community, because you're so passionate about that, has you know, leaked into the Kinjas and how you guys are, like you said, brotherhood. That's such a standout term that you know we have in community that you probably, you had before, but now you really see the fruit of mm -hmm. what that, is like to have that in your work because you've had it through faith. Thanks again so much for joining me. That was so awesome. And thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, make sure you hit the like button below and don't forget to subscribe. God bless. <laughs> Dang it, Ben, I can't. I can't look at what that. am I his doing? Face, he's just like. I got a funny face. <laughs> <laughs> Wanna sip a boba? Oh, he's gonna, that's what Boba I'm, helps I was everything. Stay in fellowship, stay in community. <laughs> Talking to you.